Two members of the far-right Proud Boys group are learning their fate today for the roles they played in the deadly January 6th riot on the U.S. Capitol. One was handed a 10-year sentence this morning. The other could get up to 27 years. Journalist Benji Heyer is tracking developments in Washington for us. So, Benji, what more do we know about today's sentencings? Dwight, one of those men in court was Dominic Pozzola. You might not recognize his name, but the picture that he created was infamous. The images and videos of him using a police riot shield to breach the Capitol building on January 6th became basically a symbol of the violence we saw that day because the window that he smashed allowed that first wave of rioters to storm Congress, the heart of American democracy. Inside, of course, there was the Electoral College vote count that was uh, certifying Joe Biden's victory in the 2020 election in which he defeated Donald Trump. The judge told Pozzola earlier that you really were in some ways the tip of the spear. He was sentenced, as you mentioned, to 10 years in prison. He at one point expressed regret, but ultimately then showed little remorse. As he was leaving the courtroom, he raised his fist. He shouted, Trump won. That happening just minutes after the judge said that he'd hoped the defendant had actually turned a corner. There's a, a separate defendant, as you say, Ethan Nordine, another member of the Proud Boys group, also convicted for his involvement, and he's expected to be sentenced imminently. Oh, yelling Trump won after he's being sentenced. That's just incredible. Now, they're not the only Proud Boys whose sentencing was due this week. What about the other cases, Benji? That's right. Two of the co-defendants, Joseph Biggs, Zachary Real, they were sentenced uh, to 17 and 15 years in prison, respectively. That's far uh, short of the 30 or so years that prosecutors were seeking. Uh, Biggs, uh, who was serving 17 years, that's about a year less than Stuart Rhodes received a month ago. He was the founder of another far-right group, the Oath Keepers. Biggs confessing in court on Thursday that he messed up and insisting he's not a terrorist. There's also another Proud Boys leader, Enrico Tarrio, whose sentencing is going to happen next week. He faces potentially 33 years behind bars. But his lawyers are arguing he's not responsible. It was Donald Trump's words. They say his motivation, his anger that, uh, that caused what occurred on January 6th. The former president has been charged with illegally attempting to overturn the election outcome on both a nationwide and state level. At the time, on January 6th, he urged his supporters to march to the US Capitol, preaching his false claims of a rigged vote. And you may recall, too, that when Mr Trump was asked to denounce the Proud Boys, he requested they stand back and stand by. Oh, we remember journalist Benji Heyer in Washington. Thank you for this.